Hello, and welcome to Art Snacks. Today we're going to do a crayon drawing of a jellyfish. So we're going to start with, let's use, how about this? How about we use indigo? Okay, and we'll start by making sort of a shape like this. Okay, and then we'll make a curve across the top. We'll make it kind of dark up here. This is not a peanut butter and jellyfish, it's just a regular jellyfish. So if you like peanut butter and jelly, that's cool, but this is not. There's no peanut butter in this fish. What is a jellyfish anywhere, and where does it live? Does anyone know? Well, it has these long little whips that come off of it. Some of them can sting you. They have stingers on them. There's a great picture of a jellyfish in the photo gallery on Art Snacks if you ever want to look. Now, that's the beginning. We need some other colors to kind of make this work. So let's put a few little lines here. And let's look for something a little more bold. A little more, hmm, let's see what we can find here. How about red? Red's bold. Put some red on here. These things are beautiful, but they can't really live outside of the water very well. And then put a whole bunch of just stuff coming down here. It's getting narrower as it goes down. Let's make some sort of shapes here. Some sort of circular shapes. Like little globs, jellyfish stuff. Ooh. I'll make a few longer. Make these a little bit longer. is in the sea. So let's give it a little bit of habitat. What's the habitat of a sea creature? They live underwater. What other creatures live underwater? We could draw. It's fun to draw shapes going behind the subject. And the subject is the thing that we are drawing, or the thing that we are painting, or the thing that we are coloring. The jellyfish is the subject of this picture. Make a little more green disappearing behind the subject, and that way, when it comes back to the other side, makes the jellyfish stand out even more. Contrasts against the jellyfish. some sort of stuff there. If we wanted to, we could use blue. Let's find a blue that would be just right so it won't be so dark it makes the jellyfish sort of disappear. He even mixes with the green a little bit, which is fine. Yours does not have to look like mine. In fact, I'd kind of like it if it looked a little different. That way it looks like yours and not just like mine. Because we all draw differently, and it's okay if yours looks a lot different. Remember, I don't know how many jellyfish you've drawn in your life, but this is your first one. Be nice to yourself. Never say, my drawing's bad, or I didn't do very good. You can say, hey, that was a good first time drawing a jellyfish. That's our jellyfish. See you next time.